Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2015 Winter 1's practice problems for midterm 1. This is problem 1, part 8. So I've not only copied the algorithm up to the top of this problem, I've also copied our recurrence relation because we really only need the recurrence relation from the previous problems. So here's the problem we're on right now. If we consider only values of n that are powers of 4, we can apply the master theorem. Indicate the key parameters of the master theorem in this case and use it to re-justify our O bound. Remember our O bound was square root of n, so we're hoping to come up with the same thing when we reapply the master theorem here. We'll want to know what the master theorem is. I've set this aside so we've got access to it. And here it is. For a recurrence like t of n equals a t of n over b plus f of n, where a is greater than or equal to 1 and b is greater than 1, we can handle a variety of cases with the master theorem. So the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out how this recurrence that we have fits into the pattern of the master theorem. And that shouldn't be too hard. We just need to pattern match against the a here, the b here, and the f of n over there. So this is a, so here's our a, t of n over b, here's our b, 4, plus f of n, so here's our f of n, 1. Okay? Now additionally, we need to make sure a is greater than or equal to 1, it is, it's 2, b is greater than 1, it is, it's 4. And then we need to figure out which of these cases we fall in, which has to do with bounds on f of n. Now the bounds are polynomials in n, so let's convert one into a more convenient form. f of n being 1 is the same as f of n being equal to n to the 0. So when we're looking for that c parameter that we're going to see next, we probably want this to be our c. So is f of n an element of big O of n to the 0? Yeah, definitely. In fact, it's big theta of n to the 0, so it's certainly big O of n to the 0. And is 0 less than the log base b of a? Well, remember, b is 4, a is 2, so what power do we need to raise 4 to to get a? Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so this is 1 half, the log base b of a. And is 0 less than 1 half? Yes, it is. So is f of n an element of big O of n to the c for some c that's less than log b of a? Yes, which means we fall into this case. And we can tell right away, t of n is an element of theta n to the log base b of a. Now this theta, again, is only going to apply for powers of 4. So we're not really getting a theta bound. We're really getting a big O bound on the runtime of the algorithm overall. But we can still use the master theorem to find that big O bound. So what is n to the log base b of a? Well, remember, we figured out over here that the log base b of a was 1 half. So this is going to be n to the 1 half, or square root of n, and that sounds really good. So let's just justify it over here. We are in case 1, because f of n is an element of n, sorry, big O of n to the 0, and 0 is less than the log base b for of a2, which is 1 half. So 0 is less than 1 half. Thus, uh, we have a bound of O of n to the log base b of a, and that is n to the 1 half, which is square root of n. And that does indeed re-justify our big O bound. That completes that problem, and that is the end of problem one. Next, we'll move on to problem two.